Now for the defense, I better not see any starters when it comes to the defense. None, especially when it comes to the cornerback position. What is going on Ravens Flock? My name is Drastic and I want to welcome you guys back to another video on our YouTube channel Flock and Ravens and on today's video, yo I can't even believe I'm about to say this, we're going to be talking about our first preseason game tonight, tonight. We waited so long but it feels like time has just flown right past us right? But it's finally here. It's finally here. Now I know I'm way overexcited, more than I really should be, right? Because it's just a preseason game. This game means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. At least towards our score for the regular season, right? It means nothing. But this game means the world for John Harbaugh. It means everything for him. But that's not why I'm excited about this game. I'm excited about this game for the simple fact that we're finally getting Ravens football back into our lives. And that's why you guys should be excited as well. Because it doesn't matter if it's our practice squad. It doesn't matter if it's um, a preseason game, regular game. It doesn't matter. Every time we get a Ravens game, it's always a good game. Every single time. Anyways, guys, let's get right into this video. I want to start off this video by talking about the quarterback situation. Who's going to win that job? Is it going to be Tyler Huntley? Is it going to be Josh Johnson? Now, one thing is who's going to win in the eyes of John Harbaugh. But another thing is who should win the job in the eyes of the fans, right? What are we looking for? What are our expectations? What are our requirements for that job to be filled, right? Let me start off by telling you guys my QB2 requirements, right? Number one. I am so tired of seeing our backup quarterbacks trying to make a 20 plus yard pass each and every single time they touch the ball. I'm tired of it. Now, it'll be a different story if you're completing those passes each and every time or at least the majority of the time, right? It'll be a different story. You wouldn't even be a backup quarterback to begin with, right? But guess what? You're a backup quarterback because you can't make those you can't make those throws each and every time. So stop trying to force it, right? I'm tired of that. I don't need you to make amazing plays every single game, every single down, every time you touch the ball. Stop doing that. I just need you to get me that first down each and every time. Get me across the field. Get me to the end zone. Get me some points. That's all I need. I don't need you to be three and out. I don't need that because you're trying there to throw all these big, amazing highlights. I don't need none of that. We got Lamar Jackson. Now, if he's not there for that, bro, do your job. Get us across, get us down the field to the end zone and put up some points for us. That's all I need from a backup quarterback. And number two, I need them to spread out the ball more, especially to the players that you practice with each and every single time at training camp and things like that, right? Because these players, um, they're not really going to get the chance to um, play or start in week one through week 17. Players like um, James Prochet, Talon Wallace, Shamar Bridges. You might see them every now and then, but you're not going to really see them each and every snap. So this is the time where we, where we want to see um, all these different players. Don't just target one person back to back to back. Especially if any of our starters are going to be on that field. Don't just focus on them. Try to spread the ball out, right? Now, I know Harbaugh said he's not going to start any of our starters on today's game, but you just never know with Harbaugh, especially knowing what these games mean to him. By these games, I'm talking about the preseason game. It means everything to him. This, this record, for some reason, means a lot to him, but whatever. In case you see Mark Andrews or Zay Flowers, whatever, don't only target those players. Don't only target one player. Try to spread it out so that we can really see who's deserving of that wide receiver four or five position, right? So I need you to spread it out to everybody and also to show that the quarterback does not um, rely only on one person. That way we could see, okay, this, this quarterback too is really good because he, he can throw to this player, that player. He can make all type of throws, right? So that's what we need to see from quarterback two. Now, requirement number three, I understand you can't get us a first down each and every single drive. Fine. But the bar needs to be set at do not 
turn the ball over, okay? Don't fumble the ball, don't throw a pick, and we're fine. We can all live with you not being able to convert a first down every now and then, right? But nobody is going to accept a turnover, especially when you're putting the other team in great field position. Now, those are my top three requirements for the backup quarterback position. Let me know down in the comments what are your requirements for that position. Anyways, let's keep it moving. The second thing to look at is our O-line, right? Because we need to take a close look at what our O-line is going to look like in case our starters go down. We need to keep a very close eye on this situation because after all the preseason games are done, we need to make adjustments, right? We need to see who made the cut and whoever doesn't make the cut, well, we need to see if we're going to just put someone else in their position or if we need to bring on new players onto the team. Whatever needs to be done, we need to do it. But we cannot keep scrubs on our team. If they don't look good on this on the preseason games, we got to move on. We got to move on from these players because this season is very important, especially when it comes to your O-line. That's how Lamar Jackson normally gets hurt because the O-line does not do their job, right? So in the case that one of our starters in the O-line goes down, we need to make sure that our backup can hold down the fort while that other person is recovering, right? And that's very, very crucial to this season, to this team, and to our quarterback. Now, the third thing that we got to look at is the running back position, right? Because let me tell you guys, this uh, Keaton Mitchell guy, he is super fast, okay? I saw him at the stadium practice, and I kept a very close eye on him just to see in case uh, J.K. Dobbins doesn't come back or whatever, just to see what we're, what we're working with, right? And he is super fast. Like, the moment this guy breaks out, he's gone. He's out of there, right? So I'm very curious to see if the Ravens see the same thing I saw, right? What that means is if he gets a lot of opportunities during the preseason, that means that they're seeing the potential in him, right? But if, the, if they decide to go with like Justice Hill instead of him, then maybe he's not, um, he's not meeting the requirements, right? So we got to really see that. And if he does get the opportunities, we got to see if he makes the most out of them. Now for the defense, I better not see any starters when it comes to the defense. None, especially when it comes to the cornerback position. I better not see that. But anyways, the fourth thing we need to look at is the cornerback position. Whoever is playing backup at the cornerback, we need to keep a close eye on that. Just in case one of our cornerbacks goes down, we need to see if they can make the cut. If they could hold down the fort, right? That's what we really need to focus on because if they're not able to do this in the preseason, what makes you think they're going to be able to do it against starters, right? So if they're not able to do a great job right now, we need to cut and bring on new players. We need to make trades, whatever needs to be done, but we need to have great quality players when it comes to the cornerback position. So that's something that I really want to like get in you guys' head take a very close look at the cornerback position, right? So anyways, that's all I got for you guys as of now. Let me know down in the comment what you guys are going to look at the most, what position, what player. Let me know down in the comments and at the end of your comment, make sure to leave hashtag flock gain, all right? Every single time, just so that we know you're part of this family and also, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the channel. Let's grow the channel before week one comes around. And yeah, make sure to share this channel with a family and friend. Just anybody that you may know that's a Ravens fan, share this channel with them. Let them know what's the channel to come to if they want to get connected with the flock. And with that, I'm going to see y'all on the next one.